Hello, Life Path number eight. In today's video, we're talking all about the love compatibility between you and all the other Life Path numbers. I'm Michelle from Chasing Solana, where we talk about spirituality and lifestyle. If you haven't met me yet, welcome to the channel. If you've already been here, welcome back. Now, before I go any further, just know that you can be compatible with anybody that you choose to be. This is just based on Life Path numbers. There's so many others in your numerology chart. So where you may not be compatible with someone as far as life path numbers go you might be more compatible with them say due to like a soul urge number connection or something like that so just make sure you're looking at all the numbers in your chart to see how they work well together now let's just jump right into it life path eight with life path number one you and life path number one can create a dynasty. This is a great pairing for business partnerships because both of you guys are all about success and achievement. Just like you, life path number one is all about action and going for the prize. They're persistent and powerful. All qualities that you as a life path eight have as well. Together, you guys can destroy enemies and conquer anything. Both of you are also leaders. You love taking the lead, but there might be some conflict because as a life path eight you are a bit more authoritative and you are a bit more likely to want to be in control for life path number one it's just natural they're the, they're natural leaders but for you life path eight sometimes you feel like you have to dominate people and that can create conflict between the two of you in a romantic partnership if life path number one starts to feel like you're inhibiting or impinging on their freedom then this won't really work out but if if you can give them the space that they need to lead, then you know this can be great for business partnerships. I wouldn't say too much for romantic partnerships, but definitely for business relationships, this can be great. Life Path One might get tired of your demand to take charge while you may find Life Path One's inability to surrender insulting to you. So again, this is not the best for romance, but definitely great for business is if you guys can both decide who will take the lead and at what point. Now let's move on to life path number two with life path number eight. So I think that the two of you can attain power together pretty quickly just because life path two is supportive. So not only is this a good pairing for romantic partnerships, but it's also pretty good for business. Again, life path eight, you're all about power, control, and material success. And life path two has the desire to support you and to help you climb that ladder to success. So life path two, they also admire your ability to lead and they like like to be led right life path two is a pretty passive energy so they do thrive in partnerships where they are more of the supportive type where they are following somebody's lead which you can do for them life path number eight they'll have no issue following your command and you're a really hard worker and you would appreciate the nurturance and the love that you'd receive from life path two especially after you know a long day at work issues can arise however if you are too stubborn. Life Path 2 can teach you a bit about being more receptive and being more cooperative and you can teach Life Path 2 how to find their voice and how to set boundaries because this is something that Life Path 2 does struggle with, right? A lot of the times Life Path 2s can be people pleasers and it can be hard for you to compromise. So that is something that you guys can learn from one another. It can be a pretty rewarding relationship as long as there is a balance between the two of you. Now let's talk about Life Path 3 with a Life Path 8. Now, I think this is a good pairing when it comes to business partnerships, but not so much for romantic ones. Both you and Life Path 3 are charismatic, confident. Life Path 3 is also very talented and creative. And if you combine that with your drive for ambition, you guys can really produce a thriving business. Now, this doesn't work romantically because you guys are kind of opposite, right? I know they say opposites attract, but in this case, I think that the romance with Life Path three and eight can be very short-lived. Life Path 3 doesn't take life too seriously, right? They're all about fun. You know, they have that childlike energy. They're interested in pleasures and freedom of life and just being. While you, on the other hand, Life Path 8, you're more about your business. You're all about work. You're all about the grind, right? And I think that 
your focus on gaining power and your focus on, you know, gaining recognition, you won't mesh well with life path three who's more carefree and you know happy go lucky and they don't take life that seriously so that might actually annoy you the fact that they are so carefree and kind of go with the flow life path three also does not like to be restricted and again you can be a little restrictive or controlling or demanding so that's why i say this wouldn't be a good match for romantic relationships business partnerships you guys can come together on a project and really make it work bringing the different attributes that each of you have but romantically no moving on to life path four with life path eight so this is another pairing that will do really well with business relationships. Both you and Life Path 4 are hardworking, structured, and both of you are focused on achieving your goals. Life Path 4s are confident, they're dependable, and I think you guys pair well because your power and your drive towards achievement just kind of go hand in hand. Both of you are determined and you put work above basically anything in your life. I think this would work as romantic partners because you guys would understand that work comes first. There wouldn't be too much conflict around that because both of you guys are focused on a goal, focused on building a foundation, focused on building something steady and long lasting. But you know, Life Path 4 does like to build and that can include building a family. Life Path 4 might feel alone when it comes to raising a family with you just because, you know, family for you doesn't necessarily come first. Again, work is very important to you, Life Path 8. But if you can find a balance between your work life and your family life, you and Life Path 4 can create a successful family business that would pretty much last for generations to come. Everything that I'm saying can be dependent based on the other numbers in your chart so this is just a generalized reading i just want to make that clear all right life path number five with life path number eight this is not the best romantically i feel like i've said that a lot about a lot of your matches life path eight but seriously this isn't the best romantically because like life path three life path five is also a freedom seeker but kind of like on a different level right and they despise confinement way more than life path number three again you have the desire to be a leader and in control of people around you and because of this this relationship is totally incompatible i think in business and romantic partners just because again you guys are so different life path five can be a little bit scattered and a little bit flighty and this characteristic can really annoy you because you're pretty much grounded you're stable so i honestly don't see this pairing working well maybe as friends though you guys could probably be friends <laughs> let's move on to life path six and life path eight now this is a pairing that definitely does work well together in my opinion just because life path six is a lover right and they aim to be of service to people that they love and life path eight you need somebody like life path six who's going to support you as you work towards building your empire building your dreams right life path six is all about the domestic family life as somebody who is very focused on material reward and financial gain life path eight i think you'd be able to financially provide provide and allow life path six the ability to build this beautiful domestic home life this beautiful family life that they envision but life path six is going to have to be mindful that family doesn't necessarily come first for you so they would have to be okay with being the head of the family making all the decisions taking care of the kids keeping the house which i believe they would be okay with as long as they have that financial support coming in again i think this pairing can work well in business and romantic relationships because life path six is going to be able to support you just be sure that you're mindful of their feelings and their emotions because although they're not sensitive like a life path two or seven or like a nine or eleven you know they're still very loving so just make sure that you're able to show them love in a way that they can receive it now let's talk about life path seven and life path eight 
I personally think that this match is far from compatible. This is probably the most incompatible match just because life path number seven is introspective. They're Focus on uncovering the answers of the universe. Life Path 7 does not care much about monetary gain. They don't care about material things, right? They're not about that at all. Their focus is on, you know, finding the answers to life and that spiritual connection or even maybe a scientific connection. They like to ask questions. They're not really focused on this material plane. And on the other hand, Life Path 8, you are quite focused on power, on success, on wealth. So you guys wouldn't really understand each other. I don't think you guys would see eye to eye. You are on opposite ends of the spectrum. So I think that conflict can arise due to the many differences that you guys have. So I would say no. Let's move on to Life Path 8 with Life Path Eight, which I think is probably the most compatible match just because you two understand each other. The ambition in this relationship is sky high. Both of you are driven to succeed and you guys can work together to complete your goals, to accomplish them together. And I think it works great in business and romantic relationships just because both of you guys understand that work does come first. You wouldn't take offense to your partner staying out late to get the work done just like they wouldn't take offense to you staying out late or you know choosing a business dinner over a romantic dinner as long as the money's coming in because you guys are money minded you are focused on getting to the bag so i think that both of you guys having this drive in common really works well just because other life path numbers don't put money first the way that you do right so having somebody else who has that similar mindset is going to be easier to get along with and that's why i think this duo is compatible but one thing that both of you have to remember is that you are partners not competitors okay life path eight you guys can be really competitive so it's important for you to realize that your spouse your partner whoever you're with they're not in competition with you you guys have to be a team now a little friendly competition is cool but make sure that you guys are on the same page both of you have the desire to be the best or to be on top so if you can remember that you all play for the same team then i think that this is one of the most ideal matches for life path number eight in both business and romantic partnerships. Life path eight with life path nine. I think this can go either way. Life path nine is pretty compassionate and they have this vision to uplift humanity in a way that's philanthropic. And I think the two of you can come together to plan a mission, to plan a project so you can both uplift humanity. Although life path eight, this isn't necessarily your vision. You may be more inclined to gain large amounts of money in order to keep it for yourself. While life path nine wants to discuss disperse that money out into humanity you know for a charitable cause so i think that life path nine can teach you life path eight the beauty in universal love and you can teach life path nine how to put themselves first because like life path six they are service oriented and they are you know very giving of themselves so both of you can learn something from one another i think this might be better for friendships out of anything rather than business or romantic partnerships but again i think it can go either way life path eight with life path 11. okay so i think that this pairing can go either way as well to be honest life path eight again you're all about strength success dominance and control and you tend to be very successful but also to focus on materialism at times and this isn't going to vibe well with life path number 11 because life path number 11 isn't necessarily about materialism life path number 11 is more focused on bridging the gap between the spiritual and physical realm they're more about spreading this spiritual message and like you know enlightening people to higher states of consciousness i think that there might be conflict between the two of you because also life path number 11 is independent they have that double one energy life path eight you're independent as well so you guys might clash heads uh together trying to find out who is going to be in control because life path number 11 they're a leader okay naturally they like to be leaders and it's easy for them while you're a natural leader too and it's easy 
for you as well. So I think that there can just be, I don't know, it, it, it can clash for sure. If a life path number 11 is more in the two vibration, this could work because again, two is more supportive, more passive. But if the, if, it's a life path number 11 who has been able to, you know, live in their 11 vibration rather than the two vibration. I honestly, I don't think this is going to work. I'll just be honest with you guys. I was with a life path number eight and it did not work out. Anybody can be compatible. You have to look at all the other numbers, but from my opinion and from my experience, this can be a very, very challenging relationship. So I'd say probably not. Let's move on to life path number 22 and life path eight. Now, I think that this is great, okay? Both you and life path number 22 are extremely driven and goal-oriented, and you're both really great at manifesting. Honestly, I don't know which of the two of you are better at manifesting, okay? You guys can achieve your dreams. Life path 22 has a stable energy because they have that life path Four, you know, the 22 reduces down to the life path four. Life path 11 going back, they're more scattered energy, right? Because they have that double one. So I think you would work better with life path 22 just because you guys have that four energy in common. And also life path 22, they have that creativity. They have that creative spark because they have some 11 energy in them. So you guys can come together to create a really huge project, something that will benefit humanity. This can be a very good partnership as far as as business goes you guys can really work together to change the world while bringing in major financial reward as romantic partners though i think the romance might be a little short-lived just because life path 22 won't stand for your desire to be in control because you know they can also be pretty good leaders as well and you might be threatened by the strength and power that they have because life path 22 is very powerful they're probably one of the most powerful life path numbers so as far as like romantic relationship goes maybe but definitely great for business and finally let's talk about life path 33 and life path 8 i think that this is the best match as far as when it comes to like the master numbers you and the master numbers just because life path 33 reduces down to six and again you and life path six are pretty much compatible so life path eight you'll be able to gain the support and the love that you need to push you towards your goals from life path number 33 life path 33 also has the double three energy which does make them self-expressive confident and creative and you add admire their personality and the connection between you two can feel magnetic. You just have to be mindful that you don't take advantage of Life Path 33's self-sacrificing nature. Life Path 33's are natural givers. They can even be martyrs, but it's up to you to give back just as much as you receive from them in order for this relationship to work, in order for this relationship to be balanced. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already please hit that subscribe button and notification bell so we can stay connected i'm sending you guys lots of peace happiness and love and until the next sunrise or sunset namaste